Welcome to Three Views of the Sky by Dr. Anthony Rodriguez of the Nth Dimension. As background for understanding astrology, this short video presents three views of the sky. This video was created by Dr. Anthony Rodriguez, better known as Dr. T. The voiceover is by VoicePal. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Thank you. The celestial sphere is an imaginary globe around the Earth. It is a construct for using a coordinate system to locate celestial bodies. The system is similar to the coordinate system used to located places on Earth. The celestial sphere is a two-dimensional view of the universe, which, of course, is three-dimensional. On the celestial sphere, celestial bodies appear to be next to each other. That is, they appear to be the same distance from Earth. In reality, the distance of the celestial bodies to Earth varies significantly. There are three different celestial coordinate systems, the ecliptic coordinate system, the equatorial coordinate system and the horizon coordinate system. The Earth's ecliptic is an imaginary plane on which the Earth, the Moon, the planets, and the zodiac constellations orbit around the Sun. The ecliptic coordinate system is a geocentric, that is Earth-centered, view of the celestial sphere. In the ecliptic coordinate system, horizontal distances are measured in degrees of longitude, where zero degrees of longitude is the vernal equinox, when the ecliptic plane crosses the equatorial plane in the spring, and vertical distances are measured in degrees of latitude. The equator is an imaginary circle around the Earth that divides the Earth in two, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. The equatorial coordinate system is also a geocentric, that is, Earth-centered, view of the celestial sphere. In the equatorial coordinate system horizontal distances are measured in degrees of right ascension, labeled RA, where zero degrees of RA is the vernal equinox, when the ecliptic plane crosses the equatorial plane in the spring, and vertical distances are measured in degrees of declination. For the purpose of defining the horizon coordinate system, the horizon is a 360-degree circle around an observer standing somewhere on Earth and facing south. Therefore, the east is on the left, where the sun rises, and the west is on the right, where the sun sets. The position right above of the observer is called the zenith and the position below the observer, that is, under the observer's feet, is called the nadir. In the horizon coordinate system, horizontal distances, called the azimuth, are measured in degrees eastward from the north. East is at 90 degrees from the north, south is at 180 degrees from the north, and west is at 270 degrees from the north. And, vertical distances, called the altitude, are measured in degrees from the horizon. The horizon is at 0 degrees and the zenith is at 90 degrees. To get a free gift, please, click on, free gift, on the top right corner, of this channel's banner or, click on, free gift, at the beginning of this video's description. Thank you. Thank you for watching.